tell the fours, wait a minute, I'm coming. Gotta speak things into existence. Shade. That's how you let the universe know your intentions. God already wrote it, so he patient. He, you either come place it or come take it. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Doyle back with another video. In today's video, I want to answer a question that I got on my DMs. Because a lot of people be asking me, like, bro, how did you work at a factory or warehouse and you continue to trade and grow your account? Bro, it's, it's no way in hell it's going to be easy, bro. Like, literally, it's, it's literally program conditioned for us to stay in our job, bro. Like, you have to understand that, like. The only way you're going to get out is if you make sacrifices. Like, that's literally the only way. Now, um, this question was kind of, like, confusing because, I mean, you obviously see the question. He's having a hard time focusing at work. Like, for one, why are you so focused at work? You should not even be giving them 50%. You should be giving them 40 30%. As long as you maintain your job, as long as you're not getting fired, that's all you need, you know what I'm saying? All your energy needs to be going into trading and stuff that's gonna help you long longer down the road, not a job. Um, so what like what did I do? Like I feel like I talked about this before, but this is gonna be in a more detailed video. So um at first I was working first shift at first, but then I'm like Asian session don't move that much, so I need some volatility, I need some type of movement, I need to catch some type of pips, so I went to first shift to second shift and that was a big step for me like that was like okay like I'm all in because like working second shift you gotta understand you're not gonna have a life all that going out and stuff um even during the daytime you barely can handle any of your business because if you're working second shift you're trading in the morning and then you're going to work your whole day is gone so you really have to handle all your business like right before work like you can't you don't really have a life at all so I took that sacrifice. I worked second shift. Now a lot of y'all can't do that. So what type of sacrifice are you gonna do? There have to be some type of sacrifice. So you're not, we don't. And another thing, a lot of y'all are trading at work. Please stop doing that, bro. Stop doing that. That is not what's up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Going back and forth to the bathroom, check your phone, seeing if you're in profit. No, unless you are swing trading, do not day trade at work. That is not smart. Now, it's an exception for people that have office jobs. If you already at a little cubicle, at a little desk, and you're trading, that's different. But if you own the floor, hands-on, moving, fast-paced factory, absolutely not, bro. Do not do that. Like, you're just gonna... You're setting yourself up. Like, you're literally setting yourself up. But, um, yeah, so what sacrifice are you going to do, bro? Like, if you want to trade London Session, and you work on third shift, you need to switch shifts. Like, you have to do something, like... It's literally, like I said, it's programmed for us to stay where we at, to not to not level up. That's why it's so hard for everybody to get out their job is because it's so conditioned. Like, and then you got to take into account if you have kids and, and if like the bills, expenses, like it's so much that it is programmed for you to stay where you're at. Now, um, again, I took the, I took a, a leap of faith and I went on second trip and that opened up doors for me to be more focused in the morning. Of course, I'm tired. I used to get off work um around midnight and i have like to hurry up take a shower eat and then like mark up my zones and stuff so i can get ready for the next day but i did come to the market every morning new york session tired as hell like it was hard to focus like i'm like damn i'm so tired but again you have to kick it into another gear like i know it's hard you tire you off for like four or five hours of sleep but you have to want this like bad as fuck like you have to want this if you don't want it, then you're going to quit. Even when you blow your account, you're going to quit. Like, you're just going to constantly... You're not going to show no improvement if you don't make no type of sacrifices. I always talk about that. Because, like, if you come from poverty, you know this shit is hard to get out of your 9 to 5. Like, you have to... You got to do a lot. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm gonna make. I'm probably going to make a video. Comment below if you want a video of um, things that I invested in that I use from forex so like my withdrawals i use that money to invest in other things to create more passive income because i, I posted this on my instagram story people was like oh so what did you invest in like so if y'all want that video then i'll make that in the future but um 
Yeah, it's no easier way. It's no easier way to get out of your job besides like digging deep within yourself and getting through it. Like it's literally like if you hear all these other stories about people um, using forex to get out of their job, they always gonna say they made some type of sacrifice, whether it's your time, sleep, food, money, like asking people for money to fund their account, like passing challenges, like whatever they had to do. You have to do something. You know what I'm saying? So if you at your job right now and you and is you having a hard time like balancing like uh, your 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 study time with with working and like all of that combined if you having a hard time balancing your life with trading working family time bro something gonna have to give and i know that shit suck but some some type of time will have to get cut so you can give that time and put it into more of whatever that that's going to benefit you you know what i'm saying so it's no easier way like people be asking like bro like you made it seem so easy I'm, it's only 10 minutes listen these videos are not long like these are not long. These videos are usually eight, nine minutes long, 10, 15 minutes long. It was so much I didn't like document. Like it was so much that I didn't show to YouTube because I'm in grinding mode. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I don't have time to be posting on YouTube trying to document the entire journey. Bro, it's gonna be hard regardless. It's gonna be hard regardless. So um, my advice to people that have a job that's having a hard time working and focusing on trading is you have to give them 30 40 percent give them enough so you won't lose your job you know what i'm saying just give them just a little bit enough so when you come home you can have time to study you can have time to put um your energy into something something that matters because that job is not it's always going to be there that job is always going to be there and if that job go out of business it's always going to be plenty of jobs so it's just like i would never put my energy into another job because it doesn't matter you can always get another job always but um yeah, you gotta give them 30%. Like, I, I preached about this before on my last, well, that was like 10, 12, well, probably 11 months ago. Um, don't give them your all, man. Do not go to work busting your ass, bro. Please do not do that. That is, that's pointless. You're trying to, like, get a promotion and shit for what? Like, now I can see if you trying to do some overtime just to stack up to put in your training account. But other than that, like, you shouldn't even be giving them that much energy. But, um, yeah, that's that's kind of this is kind of like a broad answer because it's just no easier way, man. You are gonna have to make sacrifices, man. You are gonna have to do shit that you don't want to do. You know what I'm saying? Stack your bread up, bro. Take one of these challenges, whatever you have to do, man. But it's no easier way. It's either you you don't make a sacrifice and you stay exactly where you at. One of the two, sacrifice or no sacrifice. You choose. That's just what it is, bro. Like. I used to look back like damn like I used to like stay up 2 a.m. to study and then trade New York session like I wake up like 7 o'clock so I only got I'm off like five hours of sleep then I gotta do um, eight hours so then I go to work the next day so it just bro you gotta really want it like do you really want it yes or no because if you don't then you're probably gonna just get up on out of this little industry and then look at something else and ain't nothing nothing wrong with that like some people be like you know trading is just not for me I can't handle the emotional aspect of trading and that's perfectly fine but it just if you really want this bad enough you're gonna do whatever it takes to get it you know what i'm saying but um yeah that's all i got man i hope i answered this question for uh for bro to ask me this question in my dm um it was really kind of like a broad answer because there is no easier way like you gotta go through the pain and suffering to get to the other side and then it gets easier like once you actually finally quit your job like trading become easier you have so much time in your hands you 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 can study more like you know what i'm saying like just because i'm out of my job don't mean i don't back test and study i do that shit every day i have a lot of time on my hands so i'm just at the desk studying back testing you know what i'm saying making sure everything is on point you know so um that hump is it, it's a hard hump but once you actually get over that hump of getting out of the rat race then everything becomes easier but it's so hard when you at that nine to five it's really it's really hard and I understand, because like I said, I was, listen, flipping boxes, scanning orders, eight hours, you know what I'm saying? But uh, that's all I got, man. I hope this uh, helps somebody that's at 9 to 5 that's trying to find that balance, because that balance is very important. Because if you if you give too much to your job, then you're not giving enough to trade. And if you give too much to trade, then you might lose your job. So it just, you got to find balance. And then we're not even talking about family or relationships at all. And that plays a role, too. So, um, yeah, that's all I got. Peace and love. 
Hammer.